and we're live. I want to hear about how the uh, what the workout is like for Wings and what's what's the progress there. Any what's going on? Well, you want you want it from my perspective or, or Wings' perspective? Both. Both. Both, both of them. Uh, first, first you. You go first. You want the first crack? You go first. You know, you first mine's crack. always dreary. You tell right? the truth. <laughs> tell the truth, man. Lay it out like it don't, is. Don't pull any punches. Oh, I got no problem being honest. That's funny. Punches is how it started, actually. Um, <laughs> all right. In a nutshell, but wing. Here, here's what happened with Jordy. Jordy's pitfall is not working out. That's not his problem. That's probably the easiest thing we do is just to train. I put together some really, you know, I try and keep it fun and new so it's not, you don't get that, that mundane, stale feeling. You always want to keep them guessing, keep it energetic. We box. We do a little bit of cardio, um, but I want to watch his joints because at, at his weight, that could be more counterproductive to get him to start walking over a mile or running at all. So we, we do stuff to keep his heart rate up so he burns fat, but at the same time protects his joints. We do a lot with weights, um, but honestly... The fitness part is a secondary result. All my goal is is to get Jordy to enjoy something, get a positive experience. Because when we talked earlier this year, he was really, really, really depressed. Um, and I realized, and there's a lot of people that go through that kind of rough stuff. I don't know how bad any of you guys have had it or how bad Jordy had it compared to me. I don't know what he felt, but it sounded like he was going through some stuff. And number one is to get him around positive environments, positive interactions, and that will bring the enjoyment out. Working out, I understand the endorphins, the, the dopamine. I understand the feel goods that come with it, but he wasn't at that point. So now what we do is a lot of stuff that he enjoys, and that's necessary. So we have uh, upper core day, uh, upper core push, upper core pull. So those are two, you know, um, two comparable movements so mm -hmm. you can do one the next day you can do the other and then legs but in that I gotta find what he enjoys also because some stuff no one's ever gonna enjoy um I'll throw out for instance I hate fucking burpees they're effective as hell I can't stand them it's not gonna I just if I can get I away from doing them I get away from doing them but there's things I enjoy so I want to find what Jordy enjoys and then once I have a library of what he enjoys I'll I start designing workouts around that. So, like, we used to box a lot, mm -hmm. and then I learned you didn't really enjoy boxing. We I don't enjoy cardio, period. So we haven't really boxed a whole lot as much. But he loves <clears> bench <throat> press, so we put together a whole bunch of fun stuff for bench press. Um, well, I like I like weights in general because when you're lifting weights, you, you're not a 400-pound man anymore. Right. Because the bench is carrying most of your weight or you're sitting down. And the, the only fail point there is you. So the only person you're responsible for is you. It's not like you can't do this workout because you got 200 pounds hanging off the front of you. Right. You can't do this workout because you can't do this workout. And I really like that. And it's, it's, you see progress really quickly. Yeah. And it, it, it's exciting. It's fun to watch people grow like that. I mean, Jordy's strong. The problem is he's carrying a lot of dead weight with him. So you don't get to. He doesn't get to enjoy that strength. But like, tell him about the bench press. Where you start and where you're at. I started at 45 pounds. Which is just the bar. It's just the bar. The bar is 45 pounds by which, itself. No which, weights on it. Which looks really manly in the gym. It's it does. It look, it look, it, <laughs> I was it gonna... hard days when you only can do the bar and you got other motherfuckers walking around. It's not a day you want to be there. Is it bad though? Like, because you've got Drew there, right? Like, yeah, but I don't it, know. It's a pride thing, you know. You know, you're a your guy. And you're like, man, this is 45 pounds. You feel like a woman. Right. Well, I'm there, but if I'm helping him with the bar, that looks worse. He didn't have no, to help. No, but you're. To me, it's like, well, I could do more. I just have my trainer telling me to do this. We're like, like you know, <laughs> I didn't choose me. this. Someone else chose it for me. I That's why. I'm lying to you. The bar day was the sorest day I've had in the gym. I, I've had more than one first day at the gym. I can come away if I'm dumb enough, pretty much handicapped, right? By day two. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> You can't wash under your arms, y'all. Like, you like your grand plans of like, I'm gonna go to the gym every day. I'm gonna go, you know, not not even an off day. No off days for me. No cheat days. I'm not a bitch. And then you go, <laughs> just blow yourself out one day, and you're like, fuck this. I'm fine the way I am. I, I went as a teenager once, right. and and we didn't know what we were doing. So we worked every single muscle group, and especially the bench press. We were all about the bench press, you know, <laughs> the benching as much as we could. It was our favorite one. And then the next day at gym class, I could hardly do a push up. I was so <laughs> sore. Me and my buddy were looking at each other, and I, and it was it was a type of handicap. Like I did, it, I was physically disabled. I did it to myself. Well, I mean, anyway. I've come a long way. We've been working what five weeks now, five days a week, mm -hmm. about an hour and a half a day. Um, I'm at now. I'm three rep max is probably 175, and I'm repping 135. 
Yeah. Mm. So it's, That's I'm good. What, so what are you is? what are you down to now? I'm not. I'm, I've actually gained ten pounds. Gained ten pounds. So mm, do you pounds. think it's muscle or what are we doing here? The misnomer there is it's the weight in his situation is it's muscle it's lean muscle mass. Now he's lost inches off mm -hmm. his waist and he's his arms are completely they're 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 they're, they're completely shape. different. My arms are not what Kyle had. <laughs> Feels different. Uh, like, all that. So there's I mean, no I, flab on my arms hardly anymore. I mean, like they're filling out. Well, show them, man. Throw it oh, I can't. I can't really see because I still got fat. But like, you know, it's, it's different. It's different. You can't really. It's Welcome not. To the it's gun not show. Pinchable. Actually, no way here. Go closer. I can't. I can't really pinch it. You know what I'm saying like that's. Yeah. There's no handful of flab anymore. That's great, dude. Congratulations. Keep yeah. up. The you good know, work. it's funny. Like, uh, as as Wings was trying to to battle these demons without Drew, everyone was like, you know, you need a, you need to see therapy, right? You need to talk to you know talk to someone about what's going on in your head. And in my head, from a distance watching this thing, it's like he got a therapist, not a, mm. not a doctor, but you know, like I've I've watched some of the videos. I hear Wings talking to you, you know, while you guys are having a, a meal together, saying you like, you know, how do you do this when you're not motivated? And you're like, not everything I do is fun. You know, sometimes I just wake up on autopilot and do good things. And I'm, right. I'm paraphrasing, but that's... Yeah. That's, that's, it, nailed it. Yeah, you know. What and keeps me going to the gym is 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 the depression. Like if I miss two or three days, I slump right back into depression. And mm. like, it's just, it's just, it's like mind-blowing. It's like night and day seeing me as a person. And, and when you go to the gym, you feel successful, right? Like, and and you feel proud of yourself. Well, it, it all depends what, what day. Like, I did fail one day at the gym. We did these um, thirty-five pound squats, which essentially he wanted me to do. He essentially wanted me to do like a hundred and ten squats in like a ten-minute time frame, and I, I failed on it. I got a little excited. It was a hundred percent my fault. I wanted way too much. Yeah, that was all me. But what did we do? We had kettlebells in the gym, and I lined up different. Uh, Decreasing weights, yeah. but you had to keep the same reps. So you start heavy, but then you get tired. So by the time you're doing, you know, a four-pound kettlebell, it, it feels like a ton because you have nothing left, you know, in the tank. But again, you failed because I, I set you up for that. You got you were prepped for probably half. Does half. Wings ever give you like a barrier when you ask him to do something? Like sometimes, whether it be exercise, food, or you know, YouTube, we'd have a suggestion, and his. Sometimes he would adopt it weeks or months later, but right off the bat, his first reaction were finding reasons why he couldn't do that. Do you do you run into that a lot? I do give him barriers, but like I, but um, the barriers are more like, can you run? No. Do you want to run? No. <laughs> <laughs>